Good day, viewers. Welcome to Farming 260 Podcast, where we talk about farming and anything farming. I'm your host, Lynn Watson, and in today's session, we've got a guest from Total Farm Solution. I'm going to allow him to introduce himself to us. Welcome, sir, to our podcast. Kindly introduce yourself to our guests. Thank you so much, Lynn. I'm honored. My name is Takum Dumen. I'm from Total Farm Solutions. I am the marketing agronomist. Okay. Um, nice knowing you. So tell us more about farming solutions. What do you do and so on? All right. So it's Total Farm Solution. Uh, we are a company. It's from our name, Total Farm Solution. Mm -hmm. Anything to do with farming, we make sure we cater for. So we have uh, many departments. I'm going to try by all means to cut them so that our viewers will understand. So we have a department called uh, Agri Structures, where we construct structures like uh, uh, greenhouses, uh, with peg sheds. We also do mushroom houses. Then apart from that, we go to another department which we call a uh, agri agri chemical agrochemicals a department where we sort of chemicals, fertilizers, anything that farmer wants to put to in return of their yields. Then after above all, we do consultants. Well, listen, before a farmer start to do anything, we sit down with the farmer. Then we plan with him or her so that by the day and he's going to succeed. Thank you. Oh, okay, those are very interesting uh, structures you've got there. So, but today we want to talk about our greenhouse structures. Can you tell us more about it? What is uh, what do you do when it comes to greenhouse structures? What um, services do you offer? So, thank you so much. So, greenhouse. This is a two names that are being put: a green and a house. So, uh, it's a structure that we can construct. Then, after we construct the structure. You as a farmer, you can grow in that structure. After some time, you start to make your money. So in short, that's a greenhouse. Okay. Yes. So um, can you tell us the type of the types of greenhouses that are there? Thank you so much. So we have four types of greenhouses. So we have the wooden, we have the hybrid, we have the polytunnel, we have the mammoth. So the wooden, this consists of the wooden structure. Then we have a hybrid one. Hybrid consists of the wooden and the metal structure. Then we have the polytunnel. A polytunnel is another system which have a, a tunnel, which is a metal structure, but it's different with this shape. Then we also have the uh, the mammoth or the metal one, which consists of the metal structure and the plastic. Okay. So those so, are four types. Yes. Okay. So do you offer all those? Yes, we offer, offer, offer all those. Do they all have like the same effect? Yes, but it's different with advantage and the crop that you are growing. Okay, can you tell us maybe some of the different stations? All right, thank you so much. So I will start with the wooden one. The wooden one, it takes uh, 10 years. Then it has high maintenance cost. Then number two, it's, it's it, one of, the, most of the farmers, they need it because it comes the money. If you put your money on that greenhouse, it comes after nine months, what you call payback period. Mm -hmm. But it has high maintenance cost because we are using the treated poles. So after four years, you need to, to make sure you reinstall them, okay. uh, those structures, after 10 years. Then the, the plastic, you need to, to repay it after, after four years. Then go to the hybrid one. Hybrid, we are, it's, we are talking of a metal one and the wooden structure. It's a combination. This one, it takes 15 years, but it has minimum uh, maintenance cost. But your money comes after two payback period. So you'll be putting your money after two times. Then we go to the poly tunnel. This one is may, most expensive, but normally you'll be growing strawberries or blueberries. It's mainly focused on the export produce. It takes it needs about five times for your man to come back. Then you go to the metal one or the mammoth one. This is the most durable one. It takes about twenty years plus, but your money it is minimum uh, minimum uh, maintenance cost, but your money comes after five times of putting your money. So you are talking of five years. That's your money can comes back. So that's the difference. So little farmers now in Zimbabwe, they rather go to the wooden, but they need their money to come back. Okay. So that's the difference for all these four types. Oh, okay. So uh, when it comes to greenhouse um, farming, right? Yes. Which crops are most suitable for greenhouses? Thank you so much. Any crop we can put in the greenhouse, but I I recommend three crops. Uh, for the people that uh, goes for wooden greenhouse. I go for tomatoes, I go for cucumber, I go for pepper. These are high-valued crops. They are same determinant crops. If you uh, plant them today, it takes one year. That's the difference. And the, the good thing about this one, 
you can harvest once a week after you grow them after three months. Okay. So these are high valued crops that are good when it comes to planting them. But you can still do your cabbages. But cabbages now, it takes 45 days to 65 days. Once you harvest them, the cabbage is gone. That's the difference between those high valued crops. Okay. Yes. So you mentioned, uh, you say tomatoes and green peppers and? And uh, cucumbers. Cucumbers. Yes. Okay. Uh, can you tell us maybe maybe the monetary value, maybe for our viewers out there, maybe they might want to start their greenhouses, maybe they might want to grow tomatoes or? All right. Thank you so much. So in terms of the monetary value, those three crops, they can give you money back. But yes, the, the deal. For example, you start with tomatoes. Tomato, each tomato can produce up to 15 kgs, a tomato plant. Then in those tomato plant, so in the greenhouse, uh, like I said, it's a high crop value. It grows up to 10 meters in Kundagdeng. Then after that, so it have what you call clusters. So each cluster case should contain up to six fruits. So if you say six fruits times 18 structures, that's where you get 15 kgs per crop within the one year. So in terms of the price, any greenhouse farmer, the under normal or least scenario, you'd say it at 50 cents a kg if you are doing the tomato farming. Then the money you are going to get, we put aside. Made, for example, we say 12,000. Bear, bear with me. We say 12,000, right? Mm -hmm. Then we go to cucumber. Cucumber, it's times two, the money you are going to get from uh, from tomatoes. But cucumber, you are going to sell it each, each, each fruit. Each fruit ranges from 70 cents to dollar. And each fruit can be 30 centimeters, 40 centimeters, 50 centimeters, depending with the variety. So that's dollar. Tomatoes, it's 50 cents a kg. Now it's for uh, for cucumber, we said it's dollar, it's 70 cents to dollar per, per, per fruit. Then we go for for peppers. There is, we, on paper production, we have three types of market. We have market for green, green paper, we have market for yellow paper. We have market for red paper. A lot of people, they think there's green paper. There's no such. There's no a crop that is called green <laughs> paper. But it's a process. It starts with green. Then it might be yellow. It might be red. So we have people that they want green paper. So at green paper, you can sell them at, at least $1.50 to $2 a kg. So if you say $2 a kg, maybe they are waiting at least in... Per, per week, we are getting at least 800 kgs. There's a lot of money. Tomato, you can get up to 200 to 300 per week. Then in, in terms of uh, of cucumber, you can get something like uh, from either 500 to 700 fruits a week. So that's the difference. So uh, it's on tomatoes, it's 50 cents. Then on cucumber, it's 70 cents to dollar. Then on paper, it's $2 dollars. So you see, if you have 12,000 of tomatoes times four from paper, you're going to have at least the money. So papers that are most suitable in terms of the monetary value. Okay. Yes. So that's a tip to all you guys who want to start farming, greenhouse farming. So um, let's say we've got a certain scenario whereby there are two farmers. Yes. Right? And then um, both of them are growing tomatoes. Mm. And one is doing uh, open field farming. Yes. And the other one is doing um, greenhouse farming. Greenhouse farming, right? Yes. Uh, what's the ratio uh, in terms of uh, the... Um, what is the ratio in terms of their output and maybe their um, income comes to at production? At production. Mm -hmm. All right. So that question, I'm going to subdivide it so that you understand it. <laughs> so in terms of the yield, firstly, the yield that are going to come from open field, if you go to greenhouse, it stands for times four, the yield, the yield only. Remember, you talk of, in the greenhouse, you're talking of 10 meters going up, but it's difficult when you are at least on the open field. So it on yield, automatically the greenhouse farmer win. The number two, in terms of uh, open field, open field, you are talking of 20,000 hectare, but in the greenhouse, you can put more that 20,000 20, on a small piece of area, because you can plant after every 30 centimeters. But if you go to out uh, outfield, it will be like after every 1.5 meter or after 45 centimeters. So in terms of the size, it's going to be smaller. Then the yield is going to be more. Then if you go to the high maintenance, if you go to open field, it needs high maintenance in terms of disease. 
because it's, a, it's an open environment. But if you go to the greenhouse, it's a controlled system. So in terms of the yield, I I stand with the greenhouse. Then if you go to the open field, it needs someone who is more uh, information when it comes to doing the tomato. Not in every farmer that are out that are going to produce more yield. A lot of farmers, they are crying because of the lack of know-how, because of different, or in terms of the management, at the end of the variety, variety two meters. On greenhouse, basically, only deal with the hybrid ones. But if you go to the open field, not everyone is capable of doing hybrid. Because hybrid one, it needs good management. So I hope I answered you or I didn't explain <laughs> you, did. you answered very well. All right. I think we all understood that our greenhouse Greenhouse farming produced four, at least four times, right? Yes. Okay. So, Mr. Takuza, can you tell us maybe some of the benefits of greenhouse farming? So, the benefits, number one, it is a controlled environment. You as a farmer, you can control the temperature. You can control uh, even the irrigation. It's difficult for a farmer to control if you're open field because you can't control everything because of the sun. But if in the greenhouse, you can control. The number two, you are going to have more yields. You are going to harvest at least more than nine months plus. The number three, it reduces uh, minimum cost in terms of labor. For example, if you are doing open field, you need people like three, four, that you can do the planting, the hose, the beds. Mm -hmm. But if it's in the greenhouse, one person or two person, you can do the greenhouse. The other advantage is that uh, you, you can do uh, greenhouse farming why will list you are doing accounting? After you uh, you, are, you come from your accounting work, you can still come and do farming at home. Mm -hmm. Why list you have your open field? It's difficult for you to balance your accounting work at the same time your farming work. Because the farm maybe it is outside Arare, but the greenhouse you can go outside nearer to your house. So those are some of the advantages that the one you can do. Okay, that sounds really manageable indeed. Yes. So, um, could you tell us maybe um, is the market appreciating um your greenhouse uh, produce? Yes, that's very true. Mm -hmm. How? Uh, <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> uh, it's so, but no, no, tengesa madumas edu. We are targeting one one mari and as namari. Never never chase it amari. For example, my bachura, who can take a take a one in a sandal or country bachura, but no tenga greenhouse produce. Rugaso got at least twenty one days. Ripai, rim fridge. As an open feed, do not take a in. Can no tenga rubram fura. Mbami magu no have no one room. It's difficult for me to do so. Got it is a shaganak. So in short, a market. Yaga yaga kura. Because kunema mufuta ntasha ma bega. Kuta wangu no da ku itenge sa. Wale ta package. Kuta wangu ta processing. Tika vundo. Tika bata van vese. We going to make money. So that processing tomato sauce, they can still buy what you want to do tomatoes. Thank you. Okay, I like the fact that it's very inclusive even for bachelors. Yes. Yes, like you. <laughs> So could you tell us maybe some of the common uh, challenges that farmers might face when they want to transition maybe to greenhouse farming? All right. So the first challenge is about money. Not every farmer is going to come and do, for example, the smallest greenhouse that we construct at Total Farm Solutions, it's 8 by 15, which is 120 square meter. It's about 2.3. A lot of people are saying 2.3, that's a lot of money. Yeah. So a lot of people, <laughs> ah, they don't have money. Then number two, a lot of people, like here in Zimbabwe, a lot of people, they don't want to change. It's a disaster. A lot of people, they don't want. They say, ah, this greenhouse is for only for white community. We don't want to adopt this. But that's the future. We Everyone needs to have a greenhouse. What we are doing, talking of agribusiness nowadays, agribusiness is the game of numbers. So you, for you to have more numbers, you need to have a greenhouse. So a lot of farmers, they are running away from greenhouses because they were saying, ah, no, I can't afford. But as Total Farm Solutions, we are trying by all means to have solutions to everyone so that by the day end, you can do a greenhouse. Okay. Okay. Um, so how has Total, um, Total Farm Solution um, helped these uh, farmers to integrate to greenhouse farming? All right. So what we are doing right now, we are 
going to banks we are providing some strategies that everyone can come if for example you you didn't have two pen three but you want a cleaners you go to bank then the bank can give you money or you can come to our farm solutions then we give you the cleaners then the money is going to come from the bank so that you you are going to pay back the bank after you have your money because basically if you are going to have 2.3 your money is going to come at 7.5 or 8000 then we remove the 2.3 from the bank then the remaining to be yours so actually we are in the process with engaging with banks so that a lot of people should adopt because remember everyone need to eat every tom everyone need tomatoes if i ask you how many times do you eat tomatoes you decide you need two three times <laughs> three. so three times right yeah. so you decide that we need to make sure each and every one produce for himself for him family because you, now the gdp of the country reduced from the 60% to 20% it's a hard to 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 import tomatoes from zambia from south africa so we need to make sure each and every one have his own uh, greenhouse and the, the good thing about greenhouse is not a matter of you you having a farm no at your backyard farm we can come and construct a greenhouse for you it might be small but with that small you can expand i remember we have one of our farm we started with one greenhouse now he's a, a she have at least seven greenhouses he's making a lot of people so they expand that expand we need each and every one to reach that stage okay no that's very interesting so uh, do you, do you offer maybe consultancy services maybe for people who would want to know further about our greenhouse farming out there yes we do we do okay. we can do online we do physical we can even come where you are if you want to understand about the greenhouse okay yes. so where do people get in touch with you oh so we are on, on whatsapp uh, we are on 0778357 a uh, 546 okay do you have any social media handles yes we do have on facebook we have tota farm solution we have green of zimbabwe then if you go to instagram we have tota farm solution then if you go to linkedin we have tota farm solution then if you go to x we have tota farm solutions and if you go to youtube we have tota farm solutions Okay. Thank you so much for the informative uh, information on greenhouse farming. So guys, thank you so much for watching till the end and please don't forget to share, like, subscribe and leave a comment down below. Um till we meet again next time. Bye.